So if you've been wondering about the new Ultimate Ninja Storm release on mobile, we're going to talk about it today. We're going to talk about the lack of PvP, the lack of new content, and whether or not this is something I recommend you guys getting. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you subscribe and stick around for more content. Post down below if you guys picked up the game as well. First and foremost, is the game free? No, it's not. For me, it costs $9.99 in USD, but depending where you live, obviously that will be converted differently. Should you get it on mobile? Well, I'd like to say yeah, but it's unfortunate that it doesn't have controller support from what I saw. You could probably get some controllers and map the functions, but from what I saw with several different tested controllers, I was not able to get it to work. Whether they were plugged in through USB-C or if they were used through Bluetooth, I couldn't get it to work properly, which is really unfortunate. That doesn't mean it won't be added in the future, but you know, it doesn't work currently from what I saw. Maybe you guys had a different experience, post down below. Was there any DLC content in the game? Yes, the Hokage DLC is in the game, so keep that in mind. Does the game have PVP? No, it does not. Actually, that would have been really nice, but no. What about content like the missing Zabuza arc? Unfortunately, not in the game either. Well, I've told you everything that's not in the game. Well, what is? First and foremost, they did add autosave, which is a much needed quality of life feature because it's really easy to forget to save this game specifically. And they also added in the ability to retry a mission if you fail it without having to go in through the overworld and reinitiate it there. So the game has been reconfigured to work on mobile devices, as you would imagine, and that means swipes and taps are key in this game. That's pretty much everything. It gets a little bit innovative when you look at some of the mini games, like the tree climbing one or tree running one. You have to actually swipe. It feels a little bit like those um, running games that you know were really popular for a while, like Subway Surfer, and uh, that's kind of cool, but... In combat, we do have several different options for the way that our on-screen controls are laid out, which we will cover here as well. The first thing I noticed was how good this game looks. I don't think it looks any worse than the PS4 version, to be honest. I think it looks really, really good. We don't have any real customization options for the graphics. We don't get the ability to change anti-aliasing or all those fun settings that you see a lot on computer games. They're not here, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yeah, we started with an ultimate. What about it? I'd like to say that for Bandai's first foray into porting console games to mobile this is the first time that they're doing it i think they actually did a great job with keeping the spirit of the game graphically and everything there they didn't really make any compromises from what i could tell graphically or visually with the game in any way so in terms of graphics i don't have an option here because i'm actually in a fight but you only have three options low medium or high the only real change is that basically the bit rate goes down if you will the characters get a little bit more fuzzy looking that's pretty much it all right so let's talk about the control layouts so you have Large, medium, or small for your buttons. You have transparency options. You also have the display for the uh, general stick. You can make it dynamic or fixed. You have two di different options for controls. So casual is hilarious because you could turn on all this funny stuff. Auto combo, auto chakra dash, auto guard, auto chakra charge. You can turn some of this stuff off if you want to. But with all of this on, it's hilarious because... You basically only have to control the movement of the character, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> you press one button, and they're throwing ultimates. It's really, really funny. Uh, but I, I can't play that way. It's just it's just too casual. I mean, it's to a point where, and I'll show you right now. I guess we might as well. It's to a point where they might as well just stick an auto button on, like, like typical mobile games have. They might as well stick an auto button up there, because <laughs> that's pretty much what happens here. I'm going to press this one time. Okay, he did that. I don't have any chakra. I don't even know how to charge chakra with this layout, to be honest. Oh, okay. That that was a that was a Jutsu button. Look, that makes sense with the scroll, I guess. What if I actually have to press the screen? That okay. So that button also changes depending on your distance. That's interesting. Okay, it's 
intuitive. Oh, okay. He did a chakra dash on his own. I did not tell him that. I don't even know where the chakra loading button is, like I said. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm not going to bother with this. It's it's interesting, I guess. So, on normal setup, <laughs> you can change the layout of these buttons, whether or not if you want to do that. You can also move sun stuff to the left or right side. Like, the guard button can go over there. Supports can go over here if I want to. And items is the only other thing. Can't do it with anything else. Unfortunate. Here's a look at actual gameplay. So, I'm going to be playing live in the video, not post-commentary. So, bear with me. Okay, you want to guard? You think you all going to say? You think you could guard? We're already about to kill the Rock Lee, so that's nice. All's well that ends well, right? The item button is nice. I, I think the, the item placement is nice. But it also just depends where you want to put it. <laughs> he lost to the item. <laughs> I didn't expect him to actually go down to that. That is amazing. So here's a look at the overworld for the game and the control layout. I've got to tell you also that I think it's starting to grow on me a little bit. I think that it looks really nice, like I mentioned earlier. I actually don't think it looks better than the PS4 version, but that could just be because, you know, screen size, etc. But nonetheless, it's growing on me because I think that this style game, and it's, it's making me hopeful for future installments. I think this style game actually works kind of good on mobile, regardless of controller support. I just, again, I still hope that they add that in the future because the layout can be a little bit confusing. And most people are going to, you know, be more accustomed to using a controller because this is up until now been something you had to do that with for the most part. But I do think that, like I said, it meshes pretty well with the game. It's pretty nice. The overall looks beautiful. I don't really have any complaints overall, except for the fact I got stuck there. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really nice overall. And so ultimately, I think that they did a great job with this. So then the question becomes, should you buy Ultimate Ninja Storm on mobile specifically? And to answer that question, I've got a few different things to say. Firstly, if you've never experienced the Storm series, I think that this is a good starting point, particularly on mobile. I just felt like it felt really good. It was very intuitive. I didn't really have any problem with it. I would like to point up once again that, or bring up once again, that it didn't have controller support from what I experienced. And for a lot of people, they absolutely cannot play mobile games with the touch controls it, on a game like this where you got to do a bunch of stuff. It just takes some getting used to, and some people just don't like it. So if that's you, then, well, there you go, right? <laughs> but otherwise, I did feel like it was pretty intuitive. It was pretty easy to do. And if you have any difficulties, you may not want to, but you have the option to change the gameplay style to being more casual to where it's pretty much a one-button press type of thing and it's much 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 easier to manage at that point and i'd like to also let you know that if you wanted to experience this game for the first time or if you wanted to play the game again there are alternative ways like the playstation consoles or emulation that you can do to be able to play this game you don't have to pick it up on mobile i'd like to also say that if you wanted to play it on mobile for the first time like i said there's not really anything really different here there's some minor minor stuff like the autosave but like whatever um, actually, I, I don't know if the PlayStation 4 version had that, but regardless, there's not much reason to, you know, pick this game up at that point. Now, I personally approached it from a different perspective. First and foremost, I wanted to do this video. I wanted to see what it was like. I was curious, but I also wanted to support the product. Now, I know that Bandai is kind of weird when it comes to games, whether they're mobile or console, and sometimes the quality of them is iffy. I get that, but I wanted to support this specifically because it's the first time Bandai has put out a ported game to mobile and i really really wanted to see what their plans are and so if you back this project with money obviously nothing speaks louder than that <laughs> if you don't back it with money they're gonna say oh well i guess people didn't like that right but if you do they're gonna say people did like it and they would probably potentially consider bringing out more storm games and the way i approach it is more it's bigger than that like they probably already have maybe even plans to do storm two or three or whatever like they probably have already got some of the stuff even in the works already like they that's typically how these projects go a lot of times but nonetheless the way i approach it is a little bit differently imagine the world that you know we don't have this world we don't live in this world but imagine if there was a hypothetical world where sparking zero comes out next month and they decided to port over budokai tenkaichi 3 in this time slot or at the same time as sparking zero obviously i'll perform better for them it would sell better i'm not sure why they didn't do that if i'm being honest with you but my point is 
there are so many games from Bandai on previous generation consoles that are flat out inaccessible without having the older consoles or without having emulation, which emulation is its own thing. They shouldn't expect you as a company to have to emulate their games. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's kind of weird, but I think that they should be looking towards porting more stuff and all these different games that they have from all these different older consoles. And I think that this is a good step in the right direction overall, regardless of how you feel about this game specifically. I think that's what I'm thinking about in terms of like supporting it and letting them know that I want to see more ports because I'm very hopeful. They could let me down. It could take years. I don't know, but I'm hopeful for what to come, what's to come in the future in that regard. But I will be completing this game and I will get my money's worth out of it. I don't feel like I was, you know, scammed or anything like that. I don't feel like it wasn't worth it individually. But like I said, Everyone values money differently. You may feel that $10 is worth so much more. The way I think about it as somebody that's put thousands and thousands into gotcha games, I'm not I'm not really tripping on $10 on a full game, right? Even though it's an older game that's about 15, 16 years old. So that's my thoughts on the Storm game. I do think, like I said, it's worth picking up. But ultimately, the decision lies with you. If you want to know more about Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm and you want to stay up to date with my content, make sure you subscribe and also click the video on your screen right now. It's going to take you to more Storm content mobile for me. More mobile Storm content, I guess.